Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and Merry Christmas and Happy Soon-to-Be New Year. I've heard from a ton of my friends and people I've seen online that they got their very first 3D printer this Christmas. That's so exciting. I remember two years ago, I got my very first 3D printer for Christmas from my wife and my kids. It was the FlashForge Creator Pro, and I still use that printer to this day. And I remember the first few days of ownership were a little bit tough, and there were some things that I learned that would have... Uh, learned sooner made the process a little bit easier. So with that in mind, I want to share with you five things I think you should know now that you have your very first 3D printer. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Uh, like I said, this is going to be five things that I think are very valuable for you to know now that you have your very first 3D printer. Oh, the world ahead of you is going to be such a fun place. I can't wait for you to print all the things. All right, number one is a really easy one. Follow the instructions. Read the directions. Learn about your printer. Inside the box or package or bag that it came in is bound to be some things to read. And I want you to read that. And then I want you to read it again because everyone skips directions at one point or another. I know I've done it. Even Tom has done it. Dustin's done it. Preston's done it. Chuck's done it. Juicy Moose has done it. Everybody's done it. So just try not to do it at first. Believe me, learn how to do it right before you improvise. Reading the instructions and paying attention to the directions is unfortunately one of the things when you get your very first printer that's very, very optimal for you to do. Once you get inside that box and once you take the printer out, there are going to be recommendations for how to prime the nozzle and how to level the bed and how to adjust extruders and how to grease things and where to set it and what temperatures you should start out with and what materials to begin with. And it's just, just read it. Just learn all about your machine from the materials provided with the machine and you're going to be in for a lot of fun. Without doing that, you may skip a step and you may end up uh, on fire. I don't know. At number two, something very important. I want you to be careful, but I don't want you to be afraid. There's all sorts of wondrous, crazy things on 3D printers that can be broken, but please, please don't be afraid to break your printer. Don't, don't throw your printer off the roof. Uh, that would definitely break it, but don't be afraid afraid to use it. A lot of people I've seen with their first 3D printers over time, they're afraid to use it or they, they don't want to touch it or, or they're, they're, they're scared to run a new filament or they're scared to put on a new nozzle or they don't want to move the printer once they get the bed level because my goodness, it might be out of level again. But do not be afraid. You need to be careful and do things the right way, but don't be afraid to use your printer. Don't be afraid to try things with your printer. Don't be ever afraid to print things with your printer. When removing prints, <laughs> this is where being careful really pays off. PLA uh, shards can be sharp. Uh, anytime you're removing something from the bed with a chisel or a build tack spatula or a pancake flipper or what have you, um, once the plastic gives way, uh, there are plenty of people with, with puncture wounds in their hand right here because, because the thing has punctured it. I've had PLA splinters underneath my fingernails. I've had um, various parts of my hands bleed because I've had them deep in a printer and I've knocked it against something sharp. So uh, again, even I need to be more careful. I should be more careful all the time and, and I don't always follow my own advice, but you, you should follow my advice. Please, please don't ever be afraid to do something awesome, just be careful when you do it. Number three is an interesting one. I want you to ask for help and I want you to learn from others. Always ask for help with your printer if you ever run into an issue. There's a really good chance you're never the first person to experience that issue. And there's bound to be someone within the 3D printing community that has seen that issue before and has possibly even fixed that issue before. I'm the member of the 3D printing group on Facebook. And we've, at the time of this recording, I know we're, we're over 26,000 members and, and we're growing every day. And the 3D printing community itself is growing every day. In fact, you just got your first printer. So you're a part of this ever growing, wonderful community. There's bound to be someone here that not only can help you with your issues, but someone that you can learn from as well. I, uh, 
I want you to join groups and read over posts that may not have anything to do with you. You will learn something from those posts. Go to the 3D printing subreddit and browse through some of the photos that people have posted of their prints and usually they'll tell you how they printed it or what they printed with. Don't don't be afraid to go into the Google Plus group and, and look and see what they've done there. There's all sorts of great places where people can get a lot of information to you. Learn from that and then when you run into an issue, don't be afraid to ask that same group for help. Uh, number four, number four is an interesting one. Failures are gonna happen, do not get discouraged. 3D printing is all about the failures when you first get your printer. Print, prints fail for no reason whatsoever. There's mechanical issues, there's filament issues, there's heating issues, there's nozzle issues, there's extruder issues and motor issues and electrical issues and just issues all around. These things aren't magic, they're technical achievements. And with anything mechanical and anything electrical, things can fail at any time. Plus, Plus, you're having to deal with laying down molten plastic on a bed, and if any of it comes up, it can peel off, or it can, the extruder can catch it and can skip steps. There's bound to be failures. There's always going to be failures, and you can't get discouraged. Don't be, don't be that person that experiences a failure and then says 3D printing isn't for me, and then throw the machine away or give it away to a friend. If a failure happens, learn from that failure. Find out what exactly happened. Try again, watch it closely, print a little bit slower, print with a different material, print with a higher temp, print with more cooling, print with a, a lower temperature, print on a different machine. If you have another one at this point, um, ask a friend if they can print it for you. There's all sorts of problem solving you can go through when a print failure, so don't get discouraged. You will have failed prints. That's just the name of the game. Once you get a failed print, clear your mind and move on and get that printing. Finally, we're at number five, and number five is, well, it's very near and dear to my heart. Number five is to have fun. Always have fun. Have a ton of fun. These machines are awesome. You can print your own toys. You can print your own brackets. You can fix your own problems around the house with practical printed parts. They're amazing machines, and you should have a blast using them. When I first got my printer, I remember laying down that first layer, I would just stare at the machine. I would stare at it. It was hypnotic and it was wonderful and it was awesome. And to this day, when that first layer is laying down, I, I still stare at it and it's still hypnotic and it's still magical because it's a ton of fun. So you, you with your first printer, have fun with it. Have fun when a print succeeds. Try to have some fun when a print fails. You know what? Record your, your printer printing. Record yourself recording your printer printing. Put some videos on YouTube. You never know. I'll subscribe. You're going to make awesome videos because you're going to have a ton of fun. Have fun. Ah, well, there we go. Those are my five tips for getting you going when you get your first 3D printer. I hope, I hope it's useful, and I hope those are some beneficial tips. And if you already have your printer or you have two printers or five printers or you've been printing for a while, I know it's going to seem remedial, but everybody always needs a reminder for one of those things. So I, I hope this is beneficial for you as well. Well, with that in mind, print all the things. And don't forget to hug each other more often because I love you. As always, high five.